to BSc Statistics students. I am discussing the problems of mathematical expectations. Uh, in the class, I explained one of the problems in mathematical expectations. You see the problem here. A coin is tossed until a head appears. And what is the expectation? What is the expectation of the number of tosses required? Do you understand the problem? The coin is tossed until a head appears. Until to get a head, until if you uh, obtain a head, uh, the problem is going to be continued. The coin is going to be tossed again and again. So, uh, don't you have to calculate the probability for that, the expectation of number of tosses, how many tosses are required. So, for which it is a generalization. So, we cannot uh, uh, specify in one particular toss or second toss or third toss or fourth toss when we get this particular uh, um, uh, head. That is, uh, we, have, we have to calculate certain what is the chance of getting this probability. What is the probability we have to calculate. And then we have to calculate we have to what is the expectation of number of tosses required. So, I formulate the problem first. So, first the problem. So, if I, first of all, I consider x. What is x? I, I consider, I denote x is the number of tosses required. Number of tosses required. Tosses required. Required. So, I consider number of tosses required. In which now I, I, I specify two particular three uh, categories I consider uh, to explain this uh, problem uh, and to how to calculate uh, for for calculate and for calculating uh, expected value right event I am considering and the number of tosses that is what our uh, random variable number of tosses tosses and uh, probability its probability probability of x. These are the three columns I consider. Now, event, if you consider event, in the first possibility, if you get had, at very first uh, toss, if you get had, so one toss is, number of tosses are one. Number of tosses are one. In the first, um, uh, uh, in the first uh, um, toss of the coin, at first toss of the coin, if you get had, then the then there is no possibility. There is may, there may be a possibility, possibility of getting had in one particular toss. So therefore, uh, number of tosses are one. Its probability is uh, probability of getting had is one by two. It's very simple. Now coming to the um, next event, uh, next possibility. If you consider next possibility of happening the event uh, uh, had in the first uh, toss. Uh, head is not obtained that is tail in the second task head is up may be obtained head may be obtained that is how many tasks here two uh, now what is the probability of getting tail it is one by two probability of getting head it is again one by two it is one by four now similarly in the first two tosses uh, you may get tail and then you may get head then this is a, another possibility how many tasks here are three probability of getting tile one by two getting a tile one by two getting a head one by two again so total probability of getting this one by eight similarly for example in three tosses no head that is tile and then head total four tosses and the probability is one by two into one by two into one by two into one by two is equal to one by sixteen and so on it is continue until until had appears that is on um, possibilities are up to infinity up to infinity and we cannot specify this is only the possibility these are all possibilities this is one possibility this is another possibility this is another possibility etc etc there are many possibilities are there therefore i have decided into uh, uh, i have divided these uh, um, three particular uh, possibilities so the three particular uh, uh, things you have to calculate event number of tosses and probability all to represent in a particular table so that uh, I, am I have represented these uh, in one particular tabular form and if you represent like this like in this fashion it is very easy to 
decide your problem that is what my um, one particular argument right so you need not to do in this way you can do in any particular way right this is what the required to calculate our uh, mathematical expectation that is what is the expectation of number of tosses required what is the expectation of number of tosses required to calculate that now it is uh, it becomes very easy to calculate now so now you have to calculate expectation of x so expectation of x is nothing but summation x into p of x see we can usually observe here what are the values of x x is equal to uh, 1 to infinity x is equal to 1 to infinity uh, you see you observe here 1 2 3 4 and so on the possible the, um, the, the number of tosses that is values of variable x it is going to be considered 1 2 3 4 and so on probabilities are 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 16 etc so therefore uh, the one pattern is observed now we can calculate the probability that is x is if you consider 1 the probability is 1 by 2 plus if x you consider 2 uh, the value then probability is 1 by 4 you see observe here 1 probability 1 by 2 2 x is equal to 2 probability is 1 by 4 x is equal to 3 probability is 1 by 8 x is equal to 4 probability is 1 by 16 etc therefore it is equal plus 3 into 1 by 8 plus 4 into 1 by 16 plus and so on this is what the expected value of x how can we calculate this to calculate this uh, let us consider it is yes some particular value x now you calculate s by 2 now s by 2 which means uh, now it is uh, 1 into 1 by 4 so i'm i'm writing a pattern no need to write like this but i'm observing the pattern is the reason why i'm writing 1 into 1 by 4 next now 2 into 1 by 8 1 by 2 divided by 2 i'm dividing with 2 plus uh, 3 multiplied by 1 by 16 plus and so on i'm observing uh, up to the some particular value of uh, 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 16 so now you what you have to do is subtract s minus s by 2 this is nothing but uh, that is 1 by uh, compare the values of 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 etc 1 by 2 here there is no 1 by 2 here and it is 1 into 1 by 2 plus uh, 2 by 4 2 into 1 by 4 minus 1 into 1 by 4 hence it is uh, 1 into 1 by 4 plus uh, 3 into 1 by 8 minus 2 into 1 by 8 it is plus 1 into 1 by 8 plus 4 into 1 by 16 minus 3 into 1 by 16 hence it is uh, 1 into 1 by 16 hence it is uh, the value here s yes by 2 s minus s by 2 it is s by 2 is equivalent to be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 now it is in a pattern plus and so on so if we consider a the first term it is equivalent to 1 by 2 the difference r it is 1 by 4 minus uh, 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 it is 1 by 2 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 4 it is 1 by 2 the difference is 1 by 2 a and r we have find out and it is an infinite series uh, and then the sum of the infinite series is nothing but is going to be considered as s by 2 because the sum is this s by 2 yeah, yeah, we have we have here the value here the sum is nothing but now uh, a by 1 minus r the formula a by 1 minus r it is equivalent to a is 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus r is also 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 it is 1 therefore uh, here s by 2 is equal to 1 s by 2 is equal to 1 which implies s is equal to 2 that is what our required value s is equivalent to b we have to calculate expectation of x expectation of x is equal to s this is what we have to calculate to calculate s we have considered s by 2 and s minus s by 2 so therefore we got one pattern and after that we have it is an infinite series in the form of infinite series the the first term a is equal to 1 by 2 or the difference it is going to be considered as 1 by 4 by 1 by 2 it is 1 by 2 so hence it is similarly like uh, and so that we have calculated sum of the infinite series a by 1 minus r we got this s by 2 is equal to 1 which implies s is equal to 2 this is what our expected value therefore expected value of x is equivalent to be 2 in this uh, case in this uh, problem that is uh, uh, if a coin is tossed until a 
had appears and uh, the expected value of number of tosses required is 2 expected expected, expected value of x is 2 expected value of number of tosses is 2 right this is what the problem hope you understand thank you thank you so much